And welcome back. This is Kotel for another War Rights event. Hope you all having a good weekend. It is Sunday, and this is round two for the Historical Rules event. It is a Hills counterattack. 321 on the server pop. 157 on the attacking CSA versus 165 on the defending Union team. Let's take a look at that defending Union team. They have... There's no Artie for the Union on this map. They have two core led by Zeo, Panama, and Zero. Uh, let's see. Then we have... The HL led by Thane Hood. Colonel Knight, lead, uh, Major Knight, I should say, leading the TB. Two USC led by Captain Eddie. SR is also in here with Tar Gray. We have the first US sharpshooters under Captain Carlson. The blah, blah, blah. Fifth Corps led by First Sergeant. Uh, I am uh, CW. First Sergeant, first Sergeant CW. Um, that's that's who you're going to be. We have the UEC contingent here, made up of AGL, 51st New York, and 56th Virginia here under Juicy B. We've got the two NYV elements, NYV 88th New York, led by Lieutenant Phipp, and the NYV Cav, 6th New York, led by Sergeant Hansen. Let's see, who's the uh, admin for this round? It looks like it is Sergeant Bell and Major Braun, I think, are the two admins. Let's take a look at the CSA team. Let's see, on Artie, looks like we got A and V under uh, Lieutenant Bush. He's got one gun here. We've also got 11th MS, Captain Porb. And, uh, well, it looks like Captain XR might be in charge of the A and V bat, actually. And we've got LFL under Captain Surflex. I think that's everybody on the Artie side. On the infantry, we've got Lieutenant Denisimo leading the DB. LFL under Colonel Famas. The yes, S is not silent. Major Canada leading the 20th Georgia. HD led by Captain Homa. Fort Georgia led by Major Clarkey. A and B led by 6 Alabama led by Mr. Gamebot. Let's see here. The other A and B element led by 20th, led by Colonel Killer. Let's see. 13th Georgia led by Major Cawthon. And the 11th Mississippi led by Pistol Pete. Um, oh, uh, shoot, JB is led by, I don't know, I think Schumacher, but I don't see him right now. Um, uh, 4th New Jersey is also in here. Where did, where's 4th New Jersey? How did I miss 4th New Jersey? I missed them last time, too. 4th New Jersey somewhere in here, and I missed them. But they're in here. <laughs> Anyway, we are live now at 40, but there's per the event rules, there is no sprinting, and there is no bayonets until the 30-minute mark. And off we go, as the CSA is starting to move, as is the Union. It looks like they are not going to occupy that hill over to the Union right, instead massing over in this center into the right position here. Meanwhile, the CSA is pretty spread out here. In fact, we got an early volley coming off from Colonel Famas. Uh, that already came in a little bit short. As the CSA is advancing over a broad frontier. Um, wow, the Union's really concentrating in this back corner here. Looks like uh, this element here, these three. So it's Killer, Gamebot, and Homa. The old Han V team is advancing forward. And who will they run into? It looks like they're going to run into the indomitable Major Knight and the TB along with the HL and the Thane Hood first. Up and over again, TB. Keep moving. Keep moving. Well, the rest of the team is moving forward here, looking to possibly cut off the Union as they're going to set up a linear defense further back here with a small advanced element up here. We'll see. They're already getting pounded. By the hand V. A and V knows the nail guys early. And Killers aren't even attacking from the front. An unusual move from Colonel Killer attacking from the front. But it worked out fairly well. Relevant. He be doing a hell of a volley there. So far, the rest of the CSA team is a little far away. I would disagree with that. I would say concentrate your fire, wipe out one element, then move to the next element. Okay, guys. Swing out on this. We're going to take a. Get the officer up there. Oh, little high on that aiming. You have to, might have to move up a little bit more. What the hell am I shooting at? 
It's 150 rifles. You can handle a game bot. It's a whole lot of oh. Maybe not. Like I said, you concentrate on one unit, then you move on to the next unit. Again, I'd say the rest of the CSA team is a little bit too far back for my liking here. Um, and they are really letting this element here get, get pounded on. And I think to the benefit of this Union team. And Killer is not retreating. He is moving forward. Right here, gentlemen, right here. Again, there's no bayonets right now, no sprinting, so these forward maneuvers are very dangerous as you really can't uh, maneuver that fast. A and V has been wiped out, basically. Now it's just left to HD, Mr. Homa, but he is taking heavy fire as well. And down he goes, and that is the end of this fight over here, a tactical victory for the Union on this side. We will see what they do with it. Fort Georgia kind of inching up here a little bit under Mr. Clarkey. But again, I, I, I'm not sure about this CSA formation here. Um, it, it's, uh, they're allowing the unit to really concentrate their fire. And there's not a lot of mutual support. And so far, the Union has not really taken too many losses at all. And we're almost at five minutes into this combat. And boom, man, you can see these volleys coming in. Just crushing against poor Clarky here in the Fort Georgia. Um, yeah, it's a little bit uneven right now, so they're going to send over one unit to help with the balancing. So that is part of it, but uh, that should get fixed here very quickly. That is the benefit from having a uh, dedicated uh, admin in the game that can spot and address these issues fast. Now we have a lot of Artie over here trying to provide some help here as they've come through. Am I allowed to, uh... See, they kind of punched through this uh, fence, and now they've got uh, this battery set up here. Which I think will provide some really good fire, especially from these two units here. Hey, these two batteries are God quite good. not like you, bro. You're fighting for the right side today, but you still have a blue top on. Let me see that. Looks like we do have some maneuvers over there. I'm going to see if I catch an already shot before... I'll check in what's going on that fighting up top. See the shot from 11th MS. Uh, I think it hit. It might have gone past. I actually. Might have gone through and landed there, so a little bit too long on the fuse time. All right, but over here we have had the um, Eddie and his guys, the home guard, has moved over to uh, fight the 11th MS, speaking of them. Now, Pistol Pete has withdrawn his guys back a little bit, uh, which I think is, you know, fine, actually. There's no problem with this. Um, there's no sprinting, so you can... But you maneuver a little bit more and still uh, do some casualty producing effects against poor Eddie. In fact, Eddie is getting some more reinforcements down here. First U.S. is coming up here. Well, I think they're supposed to switch. In the meantime, you see the CSA has moved off that road now. And now we've got new renewed fighting over on this side here. So two corps moved up a bit, Zio Panama and his guys, but uh, A and V has moved over as well. Oh, the CSA has capped. Who has capped? All right, it was the Georgia boys and JB. They have opted to cap. So capping right now. Um, I actually don't hate it. Um, it's going to be very hard to recap. Um, without the bayonets and sprinting, although I think that comes off here in, in three minutes, even with the counterattack on. The server will put out an announcement. But it does stop the clock. Um, so I actually kind of like that maneuver. Uh, 
You got DB over here with some good overwatch for anybody that comes to recap. You got LFL here as a good counter blow force. So I, I like that maneuver here by the CSA. Slow the clock down. See where the other cannons at. Uh, looks like good impacts. Maybe a little bit too long on the fuse time by your hair. Oh, this unit's a little bit too far out here at night. You need to get out of here. You are way too far out here, brother. Of course, I missed a goddamn already shot. Yeah, this is oh, way yeah, too far shit. out. Shit. Oh, shit. Stay on the fence. Oh, there goes the major. Fire dead. from the fence. Sniper. Logan. Sorry. Pull back. Pull, back. Pull, Pull back. back. Pull back. Pull back. Good call from that NCO. It's it's over. Come on, Pence. Come on. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. All the way back. That was a good already shot. Again, a little bit too long on the fuse time. They gotta take it down just a ta just a hair. They'll have some really good casualty. So really good job. You see, eleven MS has kept the two USC off here, and they have not been able to really resecure that side over here. And so far, the Union has not moved out to recap. They need to do so sooner rather than later. Again, right now, the longer this cap goes, the better it is for the CSA. Because even if the Union recaps later, I'll any casualties they inflict right now, they won't get back. You're just hurting yourself right now. You need to recap as soon as possible to get as many men back as you can. Now, here right. comes Stool Saw from the NYV. NYV, a robust unit, NA times, EU times. Um, you have the 6th New York, which is a cab unit, and then you have the 88th New York, which is a uh, infantry unit. Um, 88th is part of the UEC. Um, they play Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Um, they do robust drills. Um, and drills actually built uh, based on the actual drill manuals. So if you're looking for a... And they're, and they're a fun group of people, too. As you can hear if you ever listen to them. But they put a lot of focus into their drill, and it shows. And they trill like the 6th New York, for example, will trill, trill, will drill both the uh, CAV and the infantry manuals. Um, I forget the name of it. Uh, Parker will be able to tell you off the top. Well, he knows it. He showed me that he's put a lot of work into it. And a good awareness by them, see here. They know to recap right now, but not to. Uh, I like that positioning in the bush gives them decent concealment. The bad thing about it is it's a it's an arty uh, draw, but. If you do it quick and you get out, it's not bad at all. On my right, on my right. But great move there by the NYV, getting that cap going as quick as possible. But the CSA is going to try to make it a fight for the cap here. And they are flooding troops in as well. There it is. That's a bad spot about staying there for too long. Uh, the uh, UEC unit got hit. It is a very easy thing to dial in for Artie. So you can do it for a little bit, but you do not want to stay for very long. You can see the CSA has decided to make it a fight over point here and make it an open battle. In the meantime, you've seen the... Uh, I like this maneuver here. You've got H, the uh, hand V element, has moved up as well and is now putting a lot of pressure on this side. And once they wipe out TB, they will have great flanking fire into the Union as they try to recap points. So right now I'm really liking this CSA maneuvering a lot more. And the Union's actually a little bit stuck here. They've gotten drawn into this position here. Um, they need to figure a way out of it. Um, going up this hill might be the best option for them and shooting down on them. But right now, you can see they're in a bit of a crossfire here. 
Not to mention that Artie. You think you're safe with this position here, but you can see the Artie is just destroying it. You cannot stay on this island once the Artie figured it out. Another hit. All right, here we go. Just making this call. Yeah, I'm not surprised. It's Eddie. And he is coming down. He's looking good. A lot of people with Eddie this time. And again, I think this is the right call. Um, although CSA is not stupid either. Pistol Pete has seen the problem. And he is moving to uh, counter that move. So good job there by the CSA. And they have recapped here now. And you can see the Union is really getting squeezed here. Oh, here comes GameBot. This is going to be a big problem here. Straight ahead, like five meters. Aim low, boys. Belly your chest. Don't aim too high. Heavy fire coming into the Union team here. And you can see they're getting squeezed out of this position, and they are kind of losing. Boom, another hit again. Good, easy target here for the CSA Artie. You can't stay, you can't linger here. So, you, so right now, you don't control the point. So what are you doing right now? I need to retake the point. All right, what does this do for me? I'm really just kind of getting sucked into combat that I don't need to be in. You see Eddie's maneuver has been blocked by the 11th Mississippi. Great maneuver by them. I really like the uh, attack by Eddie, but it, it was great, great job by Pistol P to uh, counter it. Um, right now, I would pull back, get into this corn here. And then figure out an angle of attack. And in fact, I think that's what they're doing here. Yeah, it looks like they are pulling back now. That is your best option. There is no point in staying engaged. You cannot maintain it. But great job. You see the CSA has come up and has got a great flanking position on him. Mr. Killer in his side shots. And the Union is now at engaged. Get right here. You're in time fire for us. 339 right now on the server, so not quite filled, but uh, very close. We had 350 on the last map at one point, so. Yeah, as the day go, goes by, people got to leave, so. Usually the second map tends to be a little bit lower than the first. You see, Pistol Pete has defeated Eddie in the 11th and the uh, 2 USC over there. It should be bayonets and sprinting now. Did you get a mix of counterattack? Oh, it's 9.30 on the gold timer. That's what it is. Oh, this makes these maneuvers here by the CSA very good. I'll get south. Put him far. Southeast, east, southeast. I'll get south the closest. Let's check back in with the Artie. Looks like Corb has taken this position over here now. For that cannon shot. See if I can see X off. Gun. Ooh, just a little bit short. That wasn't though. That was A and V's gun. Great shot. Great shot by X off and his guys. Far distance here, so I might be able to catch a little bit more party. They just shot another cannon. Oh, Bell's gone. Here we go. God damn it! Mother. Mother. I just watched XOR for uh, whoever I've seen. JB. They're still getting their guns set up. Yeah. I do see them. Yeah, I see the silhouettes. So we got another flank maneuver here going by the Union. I'll check on that here in a second. 
See if I can catch this already shot before it goes out. You're gonna aim it at the top of that smoke. Alright. Priming. Oh, bounce store went way too far. That one didn't. Alright, so... Now we've got Eddie joined by 5th Corps. Now, Eddie's got some reinforcements this time. Let's see if this time he can defeat uh, the 11th MS here. Again, the uh, Union needs to figure out a way to take this point back. But again, it's so tough without sprinting and bayonets to, to get across this field in enough time. So it was really smart decision-making by the CSA team to cap there, in my opinion. Independent fire, boys! Independent fire, boys! Form a line to the left and right around the street. Independent fire! Got Eddie trying to punch through the... Mr. Pete and his guys. He's got reinforcements. Here comes 5th Corps. But CSA is bringing up reinforcements as well. Right there, boys. Shoot him to the right. Shoot him to the right. Right there, boys. To the left. Be open, Joe. See, now, uh, Fifth Corps is getting nailed here by LFL and DB. Great awareness by them. Provide some flanking fire to support Mr. Pistol Pete and his troops. But this is a great opportunity for the C for the Union to try to recap right now while they're distracted. Um, and in fact, you got also additional pressure on this side. I would press forward with the center forces here and try to recap while you have these distraction forces. You might not have a better opportunity to go in and recap than you do right now. Fine version. So you pushed them back, you pushed them back. Oh, the center is not moving. Oh. Pistol Pete has fallen back. You can see the CSA has been pushed back quite far. Now you've got flank security. Uh, I wouldn't send out your whole force, but two elements to try to cap right now. Um, it's going to get hurt, but you got to do it. And the longer you wait, the worse it's going to be. I know you're waiting for the 930, but that's a mistake, man. you got an opportunity to take it right now. They've got it. They can only, uh, you know, double quick as well, so, you know. What was that Abraham Lincoln quote? You all green together? All right, Knight, I think, knows the score. He's moving out. Right on the major. Someone's still choking on their blood back there. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. All right, right now, Knight needs to have open order and try to minimize his casualties as much as possible. Here we go. Independent fire. Anywhere you see him. Anywhere you see him. Independent fire. Knight knows what's up. And here comes a CSA counterattack, though. It's the 20th Georgia. There we go. Which direction? West. Meanwhile, there's an attack going on against 5th Corps. I'm going to stay here on night for a minute. Let's see if they can finish the cap. I'm amazed the CSA is not moving forward and finishing them off here. And Knight has done his job. And oh, by the way, 5th Corps has won this fight against 11th MS as well. So things are starting to come up Millhouse here. CSA, though, is smart. They're going to go for the cap again right away and try to keep it from hitting 30 minutes. This fence has gotten destroyed here by the uh, CSA already, and I think especially, uh, from what I can tell, the A and V bat. It could be other guys as well, but I... Ooh. Another nail. Was that, uh, yep, same bat. Mr. Exorf. 
nail in that spot on the fence. Well, here we go. Gamebot is going to try to cap again. But I don't think he'll be able to do it before they hit the 30-minute uh, mark. So that's one saving grace here for this Union team. But uh, Bayonets, boys. so far, this has uh, been a tough fight for them. Bayonets, quickly. Me, boys. All right, now we got bayonets, and once more another counterattack. And the CSA has been uh, relentless on this. All right, hurry up before Portman gets back in and wins your shot. <laughs> on. Uh, that, that's that's a hit. <laughs> you guys play poor, but I don't know, man. You guys hit it. Yeah, if you, if you have a Whitworth, just stay without the bayonet, no problem. And you can see the Union's in trouble once more, they gotta recap again. One man spacing, get behind the hay bale. Break the reload. Just left, get behind the hay bale. Charging on the left, gentlemen. It looks like 20th Lord just gets in there. Uh, yep, yeah, LFL is moving up here against, uh, looks like the 5th Corps 2 USC element. Got a stupid camera. Yeah, you kind of blocked in that stuff. And here comes the charge, 11th Mississippi coming in to sport the LFL. 13 Georgia, is, are they in there with them? Uh, no. But 11th MS was able to finish them off with that charge. We've got Eddie now moving up here, but this is, uh, he's going to try to save the flag. We'll see if he can. And Eddie does indeed save the flag. Oh, we had a counterattack, though, by the UEC units here. They have slammed into the 11th MS and DB here, doing a great job of catching them out of bounds. Um, as far as the Union goes, um, no, you got to recap as soon as you can, though, guys. That's the key. And we have a flank maneuver here by, who is this? Mr. Killer. Again, look at the flag. Drop the flag. Drop that flag. Skirmish right side. Quick shot in. Nice. Hey guys, just shoot through the corner door. Get you shot. Oh, oh fuck, that was a volley. That was a good one. Gotta give it to yeah. me. Don't die yeah. crushing. Yeah, that one. I didn't. It didn't kill me. Flex us, flex on officers, flex on officers, flex on
Again, the Union, I think, is taking too long here on this counterattack. Staying along this fence, the Union CSA has shown it can hit you. That would not be cool. And 5th Corps has pushed uh, off. Me, uh, have they, though? I guess not. Uh, A and B, it looks like they've won that fight. Oh, now we got a uh, attempt to recap here by Mr. Knight. He has been doing this this whole time. And I think it's really been uh, keeping the Union into this game as best he can. But he is taking some heavy hits here, and he's getting charged by multiple units here. Oh, well, he's got some help coming down for him, though. Here comes another charge. Down by 20th and Fort get Georgia. No pass that on. No pass that on. They're behind us. Check the press T. There we go. The Union recast. Well, you can see they don't get any uh, bonus, though. There's too many uh, enemy were killed. Oh, meanwhile, again, this, this, this tree is... He already has range, this man. You can't stay here no more. Not for more than a shot. Well done, gentlemen. I think that's a rebel flag coming in the front. Yep, independent. MYP. We are standing, standing here. Right I mean, you can if you want. Uh, it's fine. It's fine. You'll be all right. You'll be all right. Guys, in retreat. Get this flag. Back to the core. Flow back. Flow back. Meanwhile, we got the uh, 20. Looks like they're gonna try to cap again. All right, we'll see what the next fight is gonna develop here. CSA looking to cap once more. And they have really made this tough on this Union team. I think that's a lot of people. Let's aim. Uh, guys, independent fire across these fences. But we got friendlies in front of us, of course. To the left of the friendlies. To the left of the friendlies. Independent fire. By the way, I hit the uh, flag thing so I can see what's going on. You know. I know it's not cinematic, but that's why. Over here, boo. We're independent firing to the left of the friendlies on the south fence. Yankee on the south fence, fallen. And more importantly, so the unit commanders, when they review the footage, can see what's going on. At point, at point. That's all Confederate. That's all Confederate running. Take aim, direct straight ahead. Cut the grass. Left to right, left to right. Half a step ahead. Half a step ahead. Genesee. Fire! And another cap there by the CSA team, stopping that clock once more. They know what they're doing. That is a solid way to play this map. All right, let's see. Some of the other already. I have not watched in a while. I haven't watched Double Fell in a bit. Let's see what Surflex can do here. Okay, 291. I'm not too Good hit. Looks like it bounced from here, though, so it might have been a little bit off. And we've got another cap attempt. This time, HL has gone in with TB. Open order, boys. Spread out. Bring it down. Bring it down, boys. Spread it out. Spread it out. Come on, come on. Loose spacing, boys. Loose spacing. You know what you need to tell you about to spread out and independent fire and anything stop me. 
Spread that shit out like I spread Kevin out last night. Talking about set. West Northwest. No. No, but the West is it? Oh, we got a counter charge going in here. Oh, by Eddie along with Juicy B. I like this counter charge here. Well done. Kind of breaking the back of this flank here. And that should give enough time for these guys to concentrate on this attack over here. Get away from me! NYV trying to hold on. They didn't even know. I'll get the rest of that song. Come on, Chief. Get that man down. He's going to colonize your people. And, and they have succeeded. Shut up, Kevin. going to try to charge him out, but I don't think they have enough manpower to. Meantime, we got a major fight going on up here. So it looks like the CS the Union has now opted for a much more forward defense here. I think they're tired of playing these games to this point here. And they're going to try to uh, seize these forward positions here. We'll see if this works for them. Um, the other strategy wasn't working, so hey, it's a change. So I, I, we'll see how it works, but uh, the other one wasn't working, so. We got a flank maneuver here by that Zio. Yeah, it's Zio. And a nice charge there by Zio Panama and the 6LA. Secures that position here. You still have a small element out here for LFL, but they got to get out of here soon. They're the only unit up here. Well, I guess they can stay. They're not really getting pressed, really. Let's see if there's a flank developing over here. Who is this? Uh, they're hit pretty hard, though. GCB doesn't have too many men left, so can't really take on LFL in his condition. But yeah, LFL can stay there, actually. So that forward defense, though, is kind of uh, falling. Oh, don't stay here, guys. Don't don't stay here, please. Or stay there, you know, up to you. I'm just gonna sit here for a minute for no no reason whatsoever. No reason whatsoever am I gonna linger here for a minute. <laughs> Ah, oh, Yardi was actually a little bit off on those attacks. Still wouldn't stay there, though. We got Cyril here moving up a bit. Trying to do a bit of a forward defense here. Trying to keep the uh, CSA a bit off the point. Make way! Make way! Make way! Strong attack here by the CSA element. It's like 20th and 11th MS. And they have punched apart two core over here. And completely broken this flank. There it is. There it is. I told you. Don't listen to me, though. It's okay. I'm uh, I'm not upset. I don't take it personally. Second to his left and right. Independent fire. Second left and right. Independent. You're on independent. Second. Ah. Second, you're on command. Yeah. So again, this is a much more uh, forward defense by the Union. You can see they're taking more losses, but I, you know, to be honest with you, um, well, unless you're going to try to sucker in the uh, CSA and try to get them down to uh, last stand, but that is tough to do on this map. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Always forward, always forward, gentlemen, always forward. 
not cap. Do not cap. Do not cap. Do not cap. Make way. Make way. Don't cap. Make way. Make way. Make way for the king. Make way. Make way. Make way. Make way. Make way for the king's guard. Make way. Is there Rambo's? Why don't you stab him? Yeah, yeah, Rambo, Rambo, Rambo. Oh, okay. 88th on me, over here. Again, there's a, I think that's about where the uh, limit of advance is. They can't really go past to the boundaries of the map, so... If you're wondering why they stopped the attack there, that, that's, that's why. So now again, the Union though is back to that old problem, um, although the CSA is likely not going to cap uh, intentionally until they get down to breaking, and then the Union is going to have to come out and, and contest them, so um, really not much else the Union can do, really, now they've gotten themselves in this position. Tough map for them, not an easy one. So you see right now you got a bit of an L formation here. It's a little bit loose here, but you got SB guarding this flank, and then Tennessee is overlooking the point. And has good awareness there by Knight. Um, just right now, the very soon they're going to hit probably another minutes, eh, two, 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 two to three minutes, um, if not sooner. The Union is going to hit uh, breaking, and it's going to be a mad rush for the point, which benefits the CSA. I would say a key right now is concentration of fire for both units. You want to try to eliminate units from the field um, as quickly as possible. But the uh, reason for the CSA to do so is once you concentrate on a unit, you get them down to like three to five men, you start really picking up the tickets when you get them down to, and you know, skirmishing and out of line. For the Union team, um, what you want to do is really concentrate on those units closest to point. Um, so that they're not in a position to sneak cap on you. So those should be your priority targets, anybody that's close to point. Like DB right now, they're a little bit far away, but I would concentrate on them. Same thing with 20th Georgia over here. Anybody that's close to point, so I'll that mass another one. Because they're the ones that are going to sneak on point here. So the more you can push them off, the better. We can take a big ass line on the fucking point they have to charge us out. We can go like that and push that team over. There you go, Kelsey. Yep, 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 yep. That's yep. yep. perfect. Yep. Make way! Okay. Yeah, I got the bushes in my way. I can't watch all of them. Yeah, just about to cap, we just go in. Okay. Exactly the point proven there. Yeah. 
And we got a forward movement here. I don't know about this. I'm sorry to hear that. Um, I mean, I guess you're securing the flank, which is good. Um, you just don't want to be so far away that you can't support the point. So. Down the down the fence. Yeah. You can see them starting to mass on point now. This is the danger of not being in a position to support point because you got to jump over this fence, jump over this fence, jump. You got three fences. You got to jump over from where you are right now. So you are really far away from being able to support the point. I, I don't like having units this far out at this point in the battle. And you can see they're starting to sneak on cap, and that's going to have to draw out the Union. Good discipline by the CSA forcing the Union to come out. Get up there, shoot, get up there, shoot, get charge. Away. Get your bullet out. Oh, no. There it is. See, this unit out here is not. They're dealing with this, but they've got to get to point. Because if you lose point, it doesn't matter if you win that fight. I think that was a mistake. And the CSA, you see, they would have made the difference over here. And now they're going after this little unit here. Critical mistake. There's so little left here. If these guys just went in and were in a better position, they might be able to cap. you got to stop chasing these guys. You need to get the point. What are you doing? Oh, horrible mistake here. So again, you got to get over two fences. And you're not even getting over two fences right now. Chris Moto is telling him the right thing, but... Yeah, you, that started with bad positioning and then dealing with units that don't matter. We will charge them and kill them. Get rebel flag, get that rebel flag, go, 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 go. All right, they got back in time. That was Chris Moto wrangling those guys and avoiding disaster. So good job by his his call to get 5th Corps and those other... It wasn't just 5th Corps, there were other units as well. So a really good job getting his men. So I'm not sure where he is now, but really good job by Chris Moto. That was key. Now here we go. Yeah, go in, go in, never mind, go in. Now the Union has the defensive line here. If they can catch the CSA kind of coming up all raggedy, they might be able to push him down to final push. That is going to be the key right now. Yeah, you got to try to make it a, gu a gunfight as much as you can for the Union right now. And catch them as they're coming in. All raggedy. And now I would say um, push forward a little bit. But you re oh, the key, again, is the loads. The danger is the already right there like that. This is the danger of being so concentrated on point right now. So I would I would get your loads and push forward. Because the already is going to just destroy this. I wouldn't fire well. I push up. If you got loads, push up. 
Artie is going to tear this apart. And they're just going to sit back and wait for the Artie to do the work. You got to put them on final push. You gotta. That's the key right now. Yeah, okay. We're here, we're here. Here's Knight pushing forward. He's got the right idea, in my opinion. You need to get him down to final push. And you can't let them mass. There it comes. There's the Artie. From, uh, yeah, it took too long. Take it too long and you're staying too far back. I think the Union has pissed away their chance of victory, in my opinion. Uh, you had to push up before this happened. Now you see the CSA is masked. They're not going to take out of lines and skirmishes anymore. And they're going to be able to hit you in mass. Meanwhile, you're going to take hits from Artie. The bad, bad move here by the Union. And they're just going to sit here and shoot you out. And the Artie is going to go to work on you. It was a small window for the Union, and they, they, they lost it. Good discipline, though, by the CSA not going in by... Kind of taking their time. Okay, let's get set here. Let's form up and just shoot them out. We don't. We got the time. We got the watches and we got the time. Yeah, they must be all mixed up. Uh, you hate to see it. But uh, this is, I think, Union had a small opportunity that they fought hard to get, and it's gone. I see you got him on final push now, but how much did you lose to get here? And now, here comes the Artie. It's the last stand. I like the angle of attack for the CSA. They're going to take the hill first, and then they're going to swing in. And a nice off angle attack here. Oh, I don't know why you're charging in. Oh, man. Oh, man. Should be creating a firing line. Will here by the Union. Problem is, you know, that's going to come in soon. I would send these guys forward to try to. Uh, actually, I like this position, Buzzy. You'll Panama. Try to catch those guys. Now you see the U CSA can just shoot you down. Excuse me, that is rambling. You know it is. Ram on the right! Give me, give me, give me, give me! Get him! No! Fuck it, guys. We have to stay together. This is for cigarettes. Defend yourself, lads. Stay where you are. Hold your ground. And this is the end. And a CSA victory at the end. A hard one to win. It was a tough battle. Again, I think the Union kind of threw it away there by staying there and not pushing forward and getting them onto final push a little bit sooner. And killing a little bit of that clock. Wow, they were still coming up. You let them mass up, and that was the problem. You can't, you can't let them mass like that.
You had to keep them, you know, stacking up as they came up. Gettysburg fans, you know. Get them as they're coming up. Knock out a few of their core and even out that fight. But still a very tough fight. And that's it. Um, I'm not sure. I'll probably do HRE on Sunday next weekend. I'm not sure about the rest of the schedule. But, uh, see what uh, happens over the uh, July 4th weekend. I uh, hope you all have a good one. Enjoy the 4th for the Americans. And I will uh, vote if you're French. And English, too. You guys got an election coming up as well. See you all later.